P.D. Piranha is the boss of the piranha plants that were introduced to in Super Mario Sunshine. He's since become a staple of the Koopa Troop and a common adversary for Mario. But what if I told you that this P.D. Piranha, the one we fight in Super Mario Sunshine, is a fake? When we first see P.D. Piranha in Super Mario Sunshine, he's terrorizing Bianco Hills, spreading goop all over the region. When Mario eventually faces P.D. Piranha in the windmill, he's able to defeat him by spraying water in his mouth and stomping his belly. However, when he's defeated, P. turns into goop and melts. He was made of paint all along. A second paint P.D. Piranha, which came flying from Rico Harbor, is later fought by Mario and meets a similar fate upon his defeat. In Super Mario Sunshine, P.D. Piranha, much like other enemies in the game, is just a creature created by Bowser Jr. using his magic brush. He's a fake. The P.D. Piranha we see in Mario Power Tennis, Mario Hoops 3 on 3, and Mario Sports Mix are also fakes made of paint, as is evidenced by them spinning paint and there being multiple of them. But what about the P.D. Piranha in other games? Well, we know that a real P.D. Piranha has existed at least since Mario was a baby, long before Bowser Jr. and the Magic Brush came about, as we see in Mario and Luigi, Partners in Time. This is likely the P.D. Piranha that we see pretty much everywhere else in the series, the one the fakes are based on. In Mario Kart Tour, we see the stage Piranha Plant Cove, known as Piranha Temple in Japanese and Ocean Ruins internally. On this course and its variations, we see statues of P.D. Piranha, presumably built to honor him. Did P.D. once reside here? It's hard to say, but it begs the question of where P.D. Piranha came from in the first place. Well, his exhibition record MVP description from Mario Superstar Baseball gives us a hint when it states that a mutation created this boss of the Piranha Plants, while a Pianta in Bianco Hills says there's no way that thing was natural when he sees P.D.'s quote-unquote super king size noggin. So now we know that P.D. Piranha is a mutant and probably unnatural, but perhaps going back to his first chronological appearance can shed some further light on the origins of his mutation. The Shroobs are an alien race introduced in Mario and Luigi Partners in Time. During this game, they invade the Mushroom Kingdom and genetically modify many creatures from there to aid in their conquest. At one point during the game, the Shroobs are gathered in the Koopaseum, a coliseum in Gritzy Desert, where they're seen feeding their enemies to none other than P.D. Piranha. This is P.D. Piranha at his least intelligent. He's almost feral at this point, and seemingly completely subservient to the Shroobs. Could the Shrews have actually created P.D. Piranha to use for their public executions, keeping him in the tunnels beneath the Koopaseum? The Shrews did use Yub, another mutated creation of theirs for a similar purpose on Yoshi's Island, getting him to eat the Yoshis and convert them into more monsters. In fact, P.D. Piranha's voice in Mario & Luigi Partners at Time is identical to Yub's voice, further cementing a Shroob connection. In Mario's Super Sluggers, P.D. Piranha even has bad chemistry with babies. Perhaps he remembers what the babies did all those years ago, fighting him in the caves and eventually defeating his creators. <laughs> Perhaps the Gritzy Caves themselves, which also feature Piranha Plant statues, has some geographical connection to Piranha Plant Cove where P.D. found himself after the defeat of the Shroobs, but most of the Shroob mutants use other species as a template. Yubes are based on Yoshis, Spiny Shroopas are based on Spinies, Shroob Rexes are based on Rexes, so what specific species was P.D. Piranha derived from? Let's look for clues around the Gritzy Caves where P.D. seemingly once made his home. In one area, we can see a sign and some empty bottles of Chocola Cola! Chocola Cola is a beverage brewed in the Chuckle Huck Woods, a major export of the Bean Bean Kingdom. Huh. The Bean Bean Kingdom is actually home to a unique variety of piranha plant. The Piranha Bean! These are the Piranha Plant enemies seen in Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga and Minion Quest to search for Bowser. The resemblance to Petey Piranha is uncanny. They've got the same teardrop-shaped bodies, the same leaf-like arms and pointed legs, the same polka-dotted pants. Hmm. The only real difference is their size and their head. But that makes perfect sense. You see, I don't think Petey Piranha's mutation from the Shroobs is random. Oh no. I think they specifically took DNA from a different piranha plant species we've seen before in outer space, where the shrooms themselves came from. That's right. I think the second piece of this puzzle is Dino Piranha. This perfectly explains Petey's increased size, his lips, his petals, heck, even the spots on Petey's body resemble those on the Dino Piranhas we've seen. It's a perfect match. 
So there you have it, folks. Petey Piranha could very well be a genetically modified piranha bean with dino piranha DNA created by the Shroobs during their invasion of the Mushroom Kingdom. But unlike his Shrew brethren, who largely remain frozen underneath Bowser's castle, Petey has certainly found his place in Mario's world. So what do you think? Did I hit the nail on the head or completely miss the mark? Did you know that Petey Piranha in Super Mario Sunshine was a fake? Or notice the resemblance between Petey Piranha and the other piranha plant species before? Let me know in the comment section down below. I'd also like to give a huge thank you to my buddy Chugaron, who originally came up with the idea that Petey might have been a shrew creation back in 2019, and for allowing me to expand upon the theory here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later! <laughs>